The A-10 Thunderbolt II, more commonly known as the Warthog, is one of the most iconic aircraft in U.S. military aviation. Designed specifically for close air support, or CAS, it's feared by enemies and beloved by the ground forces it protects. Its mission is simple yet vital, to provide direct support to troops on the ground, targeting enemy tanks, vehicles, and fortified positions with pinpoint accuracy. With its armored frame and formidable 30mm GAU-8 Avenger cannon, the Warthog perfectly embodies the U.S. Air Force's vision of an aircraft that can fly low, hit hard, and stay in the fight. For decades, it has consistently proven itself as the go-to aircraft when ground forces need support. And despite the introduction of more advanced jets, the A-10's reputation as a CAS workhorse remains unshaken. Few aircraft can match its unrivaled combination of firepower, durability, and reliability. In the 1960s, the U.S. Air Force recognized that its existing aircraft were not sufficiently equipped to provide the close air support necessary to counter massive Soviet tank formations. This realization led to the initiation of the Attack Experimental Axe program in 1966, a project specifically aimed at developing a dedicated, survivable aircraft capable of neutralizing enemy armor and supporting ground troops in close combat. The design had to be simple, effective, and above all, survivable. The Air Force needed a low-altitude, low-speed platform that could loiter over the battlefield, providing sustained firepower where it was most needed. By the late 1960s, several manufacturers submitted their designs, but it was ultimately a competition between Northrop's YA-9A and Fairchild Republic's YA-10A. Both prototypes were evaluated, but Fairchild Republic emerged victorious. Central to its success was the integration of the GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun, designed specifically for destroying armored vehicles. The development timeline moved swiftly. The first prototype took flight in May 1972, and after extensive testing, the decision was made to proceed with production. By 1976, the Thunderbolt II officially entered service with the U.S. Air Force. Let's now go through the key features of the aircraft. As mentioned earlier, the Warthog is renowned not only for its devastating firepower, but also for its extraordinary durability and survivability on the battlefield. At the heart of its survivability is the titanium bathtub armor, a 1,200-pound structure that encases the cockpit and protects the pilot from ground fire. This armor, which is 1.5 inches thick, provides shielding against 23-millimeter armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles. This bathtub not only protects the pilot, but also shields critical parts of the aircraft's control systems, ensuring that the plane remains operational even after taking direct hits. Complementing the titanium armor are the self-sealing fuel tanks designed to minimize the risk of explosions or fuel loss if damaged. These tanks are further protected by polyurethane foam lining, which helps contain fuel leaks in the event of a breach. Additionally, critical fuel lines are positioned within the fuselage, shielded by the aircraft's armor. If a tank is critically damaged, check valves immediately prevent fuel from flowing into the affected area, further enhancing the Warthog's chances of survival in a firefight. What truly sets the A-10 apart, however, is its redundant systems. The aircraft is equipped with double redundant hydraulic flight control systems. In the event that both hydraulic systems fail, a manual backup system allows the pilot to maintain control. This level of redundancy ensures that even if critical systems are damaged, the aircraft can still be flown back to base. It's no wonder this warplane has earned a reputation for being able to take a beating and still complete its mission. One of the most remarkable aspects of its design is its ability to keep flying after sustaining extensive damage. The Warthog can continue to operate with one engine, half a wing, one elevator, and even a damaged tail. The General Electric TF-34 engines mounted high on the fuselage are positioned away from vulnerable areas, reducing the risk of ground fire and foreign object damage. Their separation also ensures that if one engine is hit, the other can still keep the aircraft airborne. A well-known example of the Warthog's resilience is the story of Captain Kim Campbell during the Iraq War in 2003. While providing close air support over Baghdad, her A-10 was struck by enemy fire, severely damaging one engine and both hydraulic systems. Despite this extensive damage, Campbell was able to switch to manual flight controls and safely fly her crippled aircraft back to base. The aircraft's ease of maintenance is another factor that contributes to its battlefield longevity. 
Many of its components, including the engines, vertical stabilizers, and landing gear, are interchangeable between the left and right sides, making field repairs quicker and simpler. Just a quick moment before we move on. If you're new here and you like this content, consider subscribing to sustain our work and help us create more videos like this. At the core of the A-10's fearsome reputation lies its primary weapon, the GAU-8A Avenger, a massive 30mm Gatling gun that defines the aircraft's role as a tank-busting, ground-pounding beast. This seven-barreled cannon is arguably the most recognizable feature of the Warthog and has become synonymous with its ability to unleash devastating firepower against heavily armored targets. Capable of firing 3,900 rounds per minute, this gun delivers an unparalleled barrage of firepower, turning enemy ground forces into smoldering wreckage in seconds. To put it into perspective, each round fired from this weapon is 30 mm in diameter, with the cartridge measuring almost the size of a typical beer bottle. The ammunition includes depleted uranium armor-piercing rounds, specifically designed to penetrate tank armor. This type of firepower gives the Thunderbolt its legendary status as a tank buster. Interestingly, the Warthog was built around the cannon. The gun is so large and integral to the aircraft's design that engineers had to make several adaptations to the airframe to accommodate it. One of the most notable design choices was to offset the nose landing gear to the side of the aircraft to make room for the Avenger. Typically, the nose gear on most aircraft is centrally located, but in the case of the A-10, the gun takes priority. As a result, the nose landing gear is positioned slightly to the right of the aircraft's centerline. The gun itself is mounted slightly off-center to the port side of the fuselage, with the firing barrel aligned directly with the aircraft's centerline to ensure that recoil forces are evenly distributed during strafing runs. This careful alignment minimizes the impact of the gun's recoil on the flight path, with such a powerful weapon, the recoil effect could easily throw the aircraft off target. Despite this, the Warthog remains incredibly stable during an attack run. The gun is powered by two hydraulic motors that spin the barrels rapidly, creating its distinct sound. An unmistakable noise that strikes fear into the hearts of those on the receiving end. While the GAU-8 cannon is the A-10's most iconic weapon, its firepower extends far beyond that. The Warthog is equipped to carry an impressive variety of munitions and is one of the most heavily armed aircraft ever built. With a payload capacity of up to 16,000 pounds, across its 11 external pylons, eight under the wings and three on the fuselage, the aircraft can be configured for missions ranging from anti-armor strikes to close air support and even air-to-air -air engagements. Among its primary weapons are AGM-65 Maverick missiles, designed to engage armored vehicles, ships, and ground defenses. Using infrared and laser guidance systems, the Maverick can accurately strike targets up to 27 miles away. The Warthog can carry up to 10 Mavericks in a single sortie. In addition, the plane can deploy conventional bombs like the 500-pound Mark 82 and the larger 2,000-pound Mark 84, both of which can be dropped in high or low drag configurations, depending on the mission requirements. The Mark 82 is typically used for more targeted strikes, while the Mark 84 delivers maximum destructive power against larger targets such as buildings and bunkers. The A-10's modern arsenal includes precision-guided munitions such as the GBU-39 small diameter bomb, a 250-pound bomb with a guidance system, and wings that allow it to glide and hit targets with extreme accuracy from up to 40 miles away. The Warthog can carry up to 18 GBU-39s, enabling it to engage multiple targets in a single mission. For air-to-air -air defense, the A-10 is equipped with the M9 Sidewinder, a heat-seeking missile designed for short-range engagements. While primarily a ground-attack aircraft, the Warthog is equipped with the Sidewinder to provide protection in case it encounters enemy fighters. For all its impressive firepower, what truly sets the Thunderbolt apart is its ability to evolve with modern warfare. As we'll see shortly, thanks to key upgrades, the aircraft can now deliver laser-guided bombs like the GBU-12 Paveway-2 and joint direct attack munitions, GPS-guided bombs that provide remarkable accuracy in all weather conditions. With such a formidable arsenal, it's easy to see why the A-10 has earned its reputation as a tank-busting powerhouse. But as warfare evolves and new technologies emerge, how does this decades-old aircraft keep pace with modern threats? The answer lies in a series of cutting-edge upgrades that have transformed the Thunderbolt II into a versatile and highly capable platform.
ensuring its continued dominance on the battlefield. These upgrades have not only enhanced the aircraft's precision and effectiveness, but have also extended its operational lifespan well into the 2030s. One of the most important modernization efforts came with the Precision Engagement, or PE, upgrade, initiated in the mid-2000s. The upgrade significantly improved the Warthog's targeting systems, allowing the aircraft to engage targets with greater accuracy than ever before. This enhancement enabled the A-10 to effectively deploy smart bombs and precision-guided munitions, such as JDAMs and laser-guided bombs. The PE upgrade also introduced a new moving map display, which enhanced situational awareness and allowed pilots to better track and engage targets in dynamic combat environments. In addition to precision-guided munitions, the program included critical upgrades to the cockpit displays. The traditional analog instruments were replaced with modern, multi-function color displays, providing pilots with high-definition targeting information and improved navigation capabilities. This digitalization of the cockpit transformed the Warthog into a more versatile and capable platform, enabling it to conduct operations in all weather conditions, day or night. One of the more recent advancements is the integration of the helmet-mounted queuing system. This system allows pilots to target and engage enemy forces by simply looking at them, using sensors and displays in their helmet to quickly acquire and lock onto targets. This capability significantly reduces the time needed to identify and strike targets, making the Warthog even more responsive in close air support situations where every second counts. Another critical upgrade involves the addition of advanced targeting pods, such as the lightning and sniper pods. These systems provide high-resolution infrared and electro-optical imagery, allowing pilots to conduct surveillance, target identification, and laser designation from greater distances. The Thunderbolt II has also been outfitted with modern communication systems to ensure seamless integration with other aircraft and ground forces. Systems like Link-16, a tactical data link network, allow the A-10 to share real-time information with friendly forces, improving coordination in complex battle scenarios. Additionally, the incorporation of SATCOM satellite communications enables long-range communication, allowing Warthog pilots to maintain connectivity with command centers and allied forces even in remote or contested environments. A major factor in extending the A-10's lifespan has been the re-winging program, which began in the mid-2000s. By the early 2000s, it became clear that the aircraft's aging wings were developing structural fatigue after decades of hard use. In 2007, Boeing was awarded a contract to replace the wings on a significant portion of the fleet. The new wings were designed to last for up to 10,000 flight hours without requiring major maintenance or depot inspections, ensuring that the aircraft remains airworthy for years to come. The re-winging program was completed in 2019 but additional contracts were awarded to continue upgrading the remaining aircraft. Beyond structural upgrades in avionics, the A-10 has benefited from improvements to its survivability systems. These include upgrades to its electronic warfare suite, allowing the aircraft to better defend itself against modern threats, such as radar-guided surface-to-air missiles. But all these capabilities and upgrades lead to one crucial question. How has this battle-hardened aircraft performed in real-world combat? With decades of service under its belt, the Warthog's combat history speaks for itself, showcasing its resilience, firepower, and unmatched effectiveness in some of the most demanding military operations. One of its defining moments came during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, where it saw extensive action against Iraqi forces. Over the course of the conflict, A-10s flew 8,100 sorties, achieving an astounding 95.7% mission-capable rate. The aircraft's ability to loiter over battlefields for extended periods allowed it to provide continuous support to coalition forces, delivering devastating strikes while maintaining a visible presence that reassured troops on the ground. In the years following Desert Storm, the Warthog continued to play a vital role in several military operations. During the Balkans conflict in the 1990s, it was once again called upon to support NATO forces. In operations such as Allied Force, the aircraft provided close air support to ground troops and conducted precision strikes against Serbian forces, reinforcing its reputation as a reliable and versatile aircraft. The global war on terror marked the next significant chapter in the Warthog's combat history, with the aircraft taking part in both Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan 
and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Even as the nature of warfare evolves, the A-10 has continued to prove its relevance. In more recent years, it has participated in counterinsurgency operations and provided air support in campaigns against ISIS in the Middle East. Despite the increasing use of unmanned aerial vehicles and more advanced fighter jets, the Warthog's unique combination of durability, firepower, and cast capabilities has kept it in demand. As the Warthog's storied combat record shows, its unique capabilities have made it a vital asset on the battlefield for decades. The decision to keep the aircraft operational through at least 2030 underscores its enduring value in modern warfare. However, this decision has not been without controversy. A debate continues over whether newer platforms or even unmanned systems should eventually replace the Warthog. One of the key reasons this close air support legend remains in service is its irreplaceable role in CAS missions. Its ability to carry a heavy payload, withstand significant battle damage, and loiter over combat zones for extended periods makes it ideal for supporting ground troops in lower intensity conflicts. These qualities are difficult to replicate and many argue that no current aircraft matches the Warthog's unique combination of firepower, survivability, and endurance. So how does it compare to the latest generation of aircraft, like the F-35 Lightning II? The F-35, a multi-role stealth fighter, certainly brings cutting-edge technology to the table, particularly in contested environments. Its stealth capabilities and advanced sensors allow it to operate effectively where enemy air defenses pose significant threats. With its ability to evade radar detection, the F-35 can penetrate heavily defended areas that would be too dangerous for the Warthog. Additionally, its sophisticated sensor fusion gives pilots superior situational awareness, enabling them to detect, track, and engage multiple targets from a distance. Yet, despite these advantages, the F-35 has its limitations in the close air support role. While it's faster, stealthier, and more versatile than its predecessor, it lacks the Warthog's ability to carry a heavy payload and maintain a persistent presence over the battlefield. Proponents of retiring the Thunderbolt II argue that maintaining aging airframes is costly and that newer platforms or unmanned aerial vehicles could take over the CAS role. UAVs, in particular, offer a compelling alternative. They can operate in contested airspace, carry precision-guided munitions, and loiter for extended periods without risking a pilot's life. However, Skepticism remains about whether UAVs can fully replace this battlefield icon. Critics argue that while drones excel in surveillance and precision strikes, they lack the Warthog's ability to deliver sustained firepower in direct support of ground troops, especially in rapidly changing combat environments. As the debate over the A-10's future continues, one thing remains certain. The Warthog has earned an almost legendary status on the battlefield. Adored by the troops it protects, this battle-proven aircraft has saved countless lives with its relentless firepower and ability to stay in the fight when others might falter. While the future of warfare may shift toward more advanced platforms and unmanned systems, for now, the Warthog is going nowhere. How its story evolves, however, remains to be seen.